Well, shoot, um, my little Maltese dog, Blue, got out yesterday, and she's disappeared. And I imagine somebody picked her up. She's a, she's a full purebred Maltese. And more so she may be gone. So, you know, I don't even feel like going over to Publix this morning. Devil in my They're spring loaded. Oh, there's a can anyway. Now, well, there's another can. I'll take it. Those are interesting. I wonder what the heck. Probably some kind of shelf apparatus or something. To... Oh well. So much for that. Almost a nothing. Almost a nothing. <sighs> I don't smell the sewage treatment plant today, but it's, I hear it buzzing away. I hear it buzzing away. There's my lady friend's house. I expect she'll be having the yard sale this weekend. I expect. You know, I sure wish I'd have Never got rid of all my woodworking tools and stuff. But I did. Go. I don't 
wonder. I'm thinking about I really don't want to I just kind of got the blahs this morning. I, it, I guess it's because my little dog's missing. And actually, she sleeps with me. And this is the first time In three years that she ain't been in my bed with me at night. Well, except for the times I was in the hospital, but she's still in my bed even when I wasn't there, but... What's free? Paul Sutton, my agent cuts my grass while he sells my home. Oh, give me a break. I like something free. Is that a can? No. Is that a can over there? Yeah. I'm gonna go over there. Well, shoot, my other grabber's somewhere. Uh, well, they ain't grabbing that from squat. There it goes. They ain't grabbing it from squat. Yeah, I've got the blocks. I've been trying to put a PayPal button tip jar thing on my uh, on my channel page and everything, but I swear I think I know how it's got to be done, but I just don't have I don't have the knowledge. to do it. It's got something to do with the HTML codes and stuff and I I can get the code for the button and I can get the code for my page but I don't know uh, the code for my page it's two or three pages long. I don't know where to stick that in there. I know it's got to go in there somewhere, but I don't know where to do it. And I'm scared if I keep tinkering with it, I'm going to mess my page up. How you doing? Yeah, I'm afraid I'll mess my page up. And I have people send, every once in a while sends me cash in the mail and that scares me that they do that. I'd rather them be able to do it, put put it in a PayPal tip jar for me. Oh. Uh, but they, they send it, and I got other people. You need a PayPal phone so we can help you out and stuff like that. And uh, but I've been trying to do it, and the only thing I can do is put up my link to my PayPal account. They go to that link and put it in, but it ain't. But if I have a live button on there, all I got to do is click on that button, and it'll take it right to my account. Um,
You know, uh, sometimes I wonder if I'm just peeing up a tree or peeing in the wind or whatever you want to call it, trying to do a YouTube channel because I'm pretty much lost. And, and you know what? Back in the 90s, I was really computer savvy, but... But I can't remember 90% of that stuff that I knew back then. And, of course, back then they were easier to work on and stuff. And, I mean, I was, I was buying old used computers and rebuilding them and selling them and all that stuff. And, and uh, I was... Uh, Installing up upgraded software and stuff, you know, different new windows come out. I put them on stuff like that. I was doing all that, but folks, I'm gonna tell you, uh, my I I don't know what happened to me. I I I. I I had businesses and stuff, and I was doing okay. I wasn't extraordinarily wealthy or anything like that. And I mean, I had a few bucks, but man, I'll tell you, when my wife, when my wife died. That, I thought when my son passed away that there couldn't be nothing worse than that. And it was hard. It was extremely hard when he passed away. And I was more, I was really tore up that my wife having to go through that. Because that was her baby. And I, and I kind of hate to say this, but I mean, my son passing away, that was hard. It's still hard. But gosh, when my wife left, uh, all of a sudden, It was like I had this, um, I'm gonna go over here a minute. Nothing like it was, but yeah, but back to my wife, when, when she left, it was like, I don't know how to describe it, it was like when she was there uh, I had this how do I, I, I explain it was like I had this shield or this protection or something I don't know how to explain it around me not that she physically protected me but it, 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 see, did that guy sell his Chevrolet? He must have. Son of a gun. He showed his 50, no, it's still sitting there. It's still sitting there. It's, it's like I had this protection or something, you know. I, I knew that if something was going on and I missed it or something, I would, she had my back. 
she had my back. But she, when she left, it nothing, nothing matter anymore. I just let things go. I just, I. Uh, I just come apart. I don't know. I didn't have like a breakdown or anything like that, but just come apart. I mean, she was she was my glue. You know, my and the heck of it is, I didn't realize this stuff. Till after she was gone. I didn't know. I didn't have a clue. What she meant to me. Didn't have a clue. And that would have made her work day. If she knew how. I, how I felt. But I didn't know I felt that strong about it but <sighs> does any of this make any sense it just she was my world well my kids was my world too my daughter you know my son died in 86 so uh, but, and my grandbabies, they're my world. I don't know what I'm out here riding around for, what I need to, I need to just get my butt in the shop and start getting some of that stuff apart. Cause I, I got to start making some headway towards that I'm going to have to, this, this scooter's not going to be able to uh, do for me scrapping because uh, I'm, they're telling me that all that stuff and loads I was hauling on there, this scooter wasn't rated for that. Uh, This is, this was approved for uh, 450 pounds. Of passenger weight or, gro or, or weight riding on this thing. And I weigh 270 something. And I had some weight on this thing. I had some weight. And the first time this thing started messing up, I was hauling probably 200 pounds worth of stuff on it that day. And that's the day it first started messing up. But when this thing's going along smooth like this, it's not putting a lot of draw on the batteries. But then if the road gets real bumpy or I get over there in the grass, it takes more energy for this thing to go through it. And it starts putting a strain on the battery. So uh, it's just not going to, plus it's, it's only a 300 amp uh, motor in this thing. Now, they got scooters with 500 amp motors, but the VA's not gonna pop for that. Um, 
This is just totally for me to have mobility, not to haul junk on. Um, so, and plus I've been told that I can't have the golf cart. Oh, I can have a golf cart, but I can't run up and down these streets in this neighborhood. Now, there are some places in, in, uh, Ocala that you can do that because there's golf cars right next to golf courses and things like that and they allow it. Wait a minute, what street am I on? Am I? Oh, I done went by. I was gonna go down here and take a look. But not this community, no, I can't do it. Now, I can ride around here on my scooters, my handicapped scooters. Um, that's no problem. And that other scooter I'm looking at now, called a Challenger Sport, and it's got 16 inch wheels on it. It'll go, it's got a 45 mile an hour range on it. I mean, 45, mile range and it the miles per hour is it'll go 21 miles per hour and 45 miles on single charge and it's 500 amp motor look at that mess now if i had a bag or something i'd I would pick that up. What in the world got spilt there? There's a wrench. There's a spoon. Some reason it's bent. Somebody making jewelry or something. There's a I want that wrench. I can never have enough wrench. What brand is that? Oh, that's a Craftsman. <laughs> which don't mean a whole lot these days. What else is down there? I wonder why all that got spilt there. There's a wire, copper wire. I'll take that. This is the sorriest pickup stick. No, that is not even a copper wire. You know what that is? That's a dadgum coat hanger. Dadgum. Anyway, ranch in a spoon. You know what? I have never gone up down any further than this on this road. But I think I think I'm gonna take a little stroll down there and is that a can? No, it's not a can. I think I'm gonna take a little stroll down there. Oh, there's Vicky's house. I'm right here at Vicky's house. No, wait a minute, which one is it? Is it? She's painted her house. When did she do that? She's painted her house. I guess she's at work. She sure painted it. I don't know why she did that. I liked it the other way. That's another lady friend. Uh, she's a widow lady. I 
you know, I kind of shy away from the ladies that's friends and because it seemed like every time I got really friendly with a lady, she would get serious. Uh, like romantic stuff. And I just didn't want to do that. Uh, you know, uh, so, you know, having friends, you know, relationships on uh, YouTube lady friends and stuff like that. That's okay. But I wonder what they're making there. There ain't no telling. Cabinet. I would love to have another four. Uh, I've got a two drawer, but I need a four drawer. I wonder if that's stowaway. I could ask. This used to be, see over there on the wall there where it says foam cutters and supply? This is one of the places I bought my bulk blocks of styrofoam to uh, when I was doing my custom foam fabrication and stuff that's been many years ago many years ago get on this road and ride. No way. Not too warm, not too warm yet anyway. We're starting to get some warmer days and mostly it's been down in the 80s but here lately uh, it's edging up towards the 90s. Yeah, she went and painted her house. I like that red brick. Her name's Vicky. <clears throat> She's a nice lady. <coughs> Got invited for coffee one time and I didn't go. I didn't go. Cause the last lady that invited me for coffee, I went, and then it started getting serious, romantic-like, and as this lady's daughter told me said you broke my mama's heart huh I, I, me breaking somebody's heart i don't see how that's possible but she got serious boy she man boy when it hit me that she was getting 
pictures and now gaga you know I run like somebody was shooting at me <laughs> I didn't come back after that day and that wasn't right I should have told her I should have at least explained to her the problem I had actually it's the problem I still have I feel like I feel like I'm married to my wife still and it, you know you say till death do us part and she died but I didn't so death hasn't done me a part yet and that's just the way I felt you know I uh, she's my wife, she's my baby. Anyhow, enough rambling on about stuff. I got to come up with a plan. I, I've been passing out some cars to different neighbors and stuff about saving cans for me. I just just imagine what it would be if all these houses you see around here they were all saving me their aluminum cans and not only their aluminum cans but their tin cans because I've got in my head I could devise a fast system of some kind to flatten those tin cans to where you could get a lot of weight in a small area uh, and recycle them tin cans. I mean, that's steel too. But people just go by them like it's just trash. And in one respect, it is trash because nobody wants them. But now, if you go into the craft over a hundred pounds of that of ten cans they're gonna they'll buy them from you but people won't save them people I, I've had things going on in my head about how to how to crush them cans you can't crush them like you do alone with cans now scrap hawk is Kid, he's, I think he's 14, 14 or 15 now. Uh, he said he just takes and cuts the bottom out and then stomps them flat. Well, cutting them bottoms out, that takes time to do that. Uh, you see these, uh, these are called Mexican tulips. Now, every day, these things will bloom out like this. Every morning, overnight, they'll bloom out. And now I can come back down here this afternoon around 3 or 4 o'clock, and you won't hardly see a, bloom, a flower on there. They'll all fall off. And they do that every cotton-picking day. And if you look close, you can see more blooms starting. That they, they they'll be tomorrow's flowers. But they what do they call them? Mexican tulips. And we got one in our yard. Same thing. There for a while, I said that that thing was loaded with flowers, and then I went out that afternoon, and they were all gone. And lo and behold, that's what I figured out. Cause I see a lot of little buds on there now that be tomorrow's flowers. But it's really prolific, you know, how much they bloom. <laughs>